In this video, we will look at high-performance cobblestone generators in Minecraft, implemented with the help of the Crete mod. I won't say that they are the best, but their design is quite simple and easy to repeat. To begin with, let's figure out how these farms work. In each of the farms, there will be a liquid tank that is filled with lava, and the lava itself will be pumped out using mechanical pumps immersed in water. And then, there is the destruction of the cobblestone with the help of movable structures that are assembled and disassembled, becoming material and destroying the block where they stopped. Let's move on. Let's build our first farm. I must say right away that it is not as efficient as the second farm, but at the same time. It does not require a large amount of rotation speed for its work. And now let's look at the resources needed to create a farm. And we will need 24 storages of items, 18 pieces of liquid tanks, funnels, frames of sails, mechanical pumps. We will also need 42 of any blocks. I chose a glass, a gear, a trolley collector, a threshold switch, a lever, a trolley. Some kind of rotation source, in my case it is a large water wheel, a wrench, two buckets of water, and two buckets of lava. And the rest is needed in order to connect your rotation source. Here you decide for yourself what you will have. Let's get started. Let's set up our 24 item vaults as follows. Then, we will completely cover the upper face with funnels, and also install the third row of funnels. Pay attention to which way they are directed. Next, we install the frames of the sails on all the funnels. Then, we put mechanical pumps and a wrench and turn them in the other direction. We will do this action with all mechanical pumps. Then, we install the glass blocks as follows. You can use any blocks, I chose these because they are transparent. In the future, these blocks will not allow the water to spill and the cobblestone to fly away in different directions. And now, we will pour water into each mechanical pump, and from above, we will install liquid tanks on each of the pumps. Now we install the threshold switch, the rails and the trolley collector are on top of it. Then we put the trolley itself, and eventually the lever. We set the limit value in the threshold switch. And now let's pour a bucket of lava into our two large liquid tanks. And now let's sum up the rotation. We put a gear and a shaft, a water wheel, a vertical gearbox, and also a couple of shafts. We connect the shafts with a mechanical belt. Then I pressed the lever and nothing worked for me. And all because instead of a block of glass on which the lever is mounted, there should be any other block, and I chose a block of stone. And our farm started working. And on the mechanical scoreboard, you can roughly imagine how efficient this farm is. And now we move on to the second farm. And to create a farm, we will need 27 storage items, 12 indesite locks, 3 brass locks, 9 mechanical pumps, 9 liquid tanks, 23 framed glass hatches, 1 gear, vertical gearbox, 1 shaft, 3 conventional gearboxes clutch, lever, 2 linear drive carriages, 1 barrel, for a linear drive shaft, 12 blocks of some kind, and of course super glue. Next, we install the storage of items. We make a multi-block structure with dimensions of 3 by 3. We cover the upper face with andesite sluices and add three additional andesite sluices on the side. Next, I install glass hatches, but pay attention to how I do it. I put them on the auxiliary block, not on the gateways, and gradually increase their number. And then we install mechanical pumps. Please note that I have installed only 9 mechanical pumps, although I have a little more glass hatches. Then, we will set up all the indesite gateways with a wrench, they will have to look inside the storage, in order to supply resources to it in the future. Also check whether the arrows on the mechanical pumps are directed in this direction. Then, we install additional glass hatches, and squeeze them, so that they act as a wall, and prevent water from spilling. Also, we pour water on the mechanical pumps themselves. Well, we put liquid tanks on top of it, 
into which we will pour a bucket of lava. Next, we break part of the fence, put a gear and a vertical gearbox, then a shaft and three conventional horizontal gearboxes, and also put a clutch and a lever, which we press in advance. Then we put two linear drive shafts, then we press the shift and put another one of the same and add another one, but without the shift. The main thing is to get a gap like this. Then we put two linear drive carriages, some kind of block, a barrel, and a couple more blocks just like mine. We continue to install additional blocks as follows, and then we install brass gateways. Please note that the arrow on these gateways should be directed inside the storage of items, but this gateway, on the contrary, should lay out items. Next, we proceed to gluing our construction. Please note that I glue only the upper brass gateway from the bottom. I also glue andesite sluices and glass hatches above them and attach it all to the main structure, which I have already glued. Next, we set the rotation source and press the lever. The farm will already start working, but the farm has its own nuances. If you apply a rotation speed of more than 170, it will stop generating a cobblestone. This must be taken into account, which in fact will be its maximum speed of operation. Well, it's worth mentioning that the direction of rotation that you feed to the farm does not affect its operation. And on this we will say goodbye friends. I hope you liked it, but I advise you to subscribe, because there are a lot of interesting Minecraft videos on my channel.